officially been hand-me-down to my son. So honey, it doesn't fit him anymore. We're not gonna think about it. Today is now starting out well. I went downstairs to get my clothes out of the dryer to take a shower and they're not dry. Despite the fact that I dried them once and then Epps restarted the dryer before he went to bed. <laughs> but um, I'm running, uh, we're getting ready. Epps and I are getting ready to run to his therapist's office really quick and sign some papers and hopefully we can get him back into school next week. I just need good things to happen and it kind of finally feels like they are. I, it kind of, guys, you have no idea how much I have, never mind, never mind. Anyways, Epps has the dogs outside and then once they come in, we're heading over to the therapist office and then doing that and then I have to come home. It is 8.37. We probably are not going to be out of here until 8.45. Then I've got to frantically come home and jump in the shower. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just don't want to put it off. She's like, oh, no rush. You can wait till Monday. No, he's uh, today officially he's been out of school for a month. No, not waiting until Monday. I am doing everything that I can the moment that I can do it so that nobody can say that I didn't. And also because he's missed a month of school, his education is officially suffering. So <laughs> you can wait till Monday. No. I'm like way, 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 way early for my appointment. I'm 30 minutes early, which technically means that I'm like 15 minutes early because I know that I'm gonna have like a mountain of paperwork that I need to fill out. I just, I had to park in a parking garage. I thankfully am on the outside of the parking garage. I would rather be on the outside than the inside. You know, like they have like the little extra parking area. That's where I went. I hate parking garages. I do. I don't like how every time a car drives on them, you can feel them fucking shaking. I hate, um, I'm way early because I don't exactly know where in the building this doctor's office is. I have no idea like where exactly I'm going. They told me the floor and I'm sure if I ask someone will tell me but I don't know where I'm going and I'm sure I'll have a lot of paperwork so I left a little early and then I also was on the fence about whether or not I wanted to eat because I was like I was telling Epps I was like watch I'll get there and they'll be like so when's the last time you ate because we have something that we could do if you haven't eaten yet so I've been afraid to eat. If that makes sense. Also, uh, Epps and I ran to Dee's therapist office and filled out those papers. Um, and then I called her and left her a message and told her that we got that done immediately. I talked to her on the phone at 8.33 in the morning. And I was on the phone leaving her message by 9 saying the deed is done. I probably look like suspicious as hell sitting here in my car with sunglasses on, all shifty-eyed looking around me because I just feel weird when people see me film myself you know and somebody did pull in like right whenever I started filming myself and I that's why you guys are down here instead of up on my steering wheel I think I'm gonna go in in a minute though because I have to pee really bad that or I'm just nervous but we at least got that done today we're at least doing this and we at least got that done and I took a shower the reason that I couldn't film myself getting ready was because I ended up taking a shower that was like twice as long as I wanted or needed it to be. I just ended up like shaving my legs and stuff. And I like didn't need to, like I'm wearing pants, who gives a shit? This is not a, this is not a leg hair doctor. So I just had to like speed through doing my skincare really quick and my face is all red from my retinol. But I had to fucking like speed through doing all that shit because I was nervous about being late. All right, we're gonna head inside in a second. <laughs> Thank God I got here early. I am so fucking lost. Okay, so the lady that I saw was like super nice, which was good. And my nurse was super nice, which is really good. They pricked my finger to test me for COPD. Um, and unfortunately the test takes like six weeks to come back. Uh, they prescribed me a rescue inhaler and, um, I have to get a CT scan of my full chest and 
do some kind of like lung capacity testing. I have to wait around for them to call me. Um, it's Friday, so I'm going to guess that I'm not going to hear from anybody until sometime next week. But, uh, yeah, she told me, she's like, these are really common in this area, but like with the other issues that you're having, and she's listening to my lungs, and she's like, so have you ever, have you ever used an inhaler before? <laughs> but, but yeah, she's, but yeah, she's really nice, and the nurse was really nice, and, uh, yeah, we'll just do the test and take it as it comes, but also, I got lost on the way out of the hospital. <laughs> I got lost on the way into the hospital. In fact, I was standing in the hallway. Um, where are you guys? I was standing right outside of the fucking door. For the, for the clinic, I was standing right outside of the door. Uh, and then when I left, I got off on the wrong floor. When I, I looked at the, the button lighting up that said where I was going other rather than the, the screen that said where I was. It was so, everybody was looking at me like, bitch, you're fucking nuts. And it was so fun. Uh, and the lady came up to me after I was wandering around the wrong floor for probably three to five minutes and was like, do you need help? I was like, I'm unfortunate. Uh, yeah, but it, it wasn't big and scary and you know, they explained a lot to too much information <laughs> uh, for me to fully process right now, but that's the plan of action. They poked me. She listened to my lungs a lot. We talked a lot. Um, basically she went over, you know, scenarios, you know, times she's seen this before, possibilities things of that nature. And then, yeah, well, we just got to wait for my CT scan. And uh, my, I think it's called a lung capacity thing. They're going to make me like walk and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. And I have to wait for CVS to call me to come pick up my inhaler, which is fine because I need to go get my birth control anyway. Um, I'm very tired. I feel like I need to take a nap. I was awake until like two or three o'clock in the morning. And then I woke back up at like seven because that's what I'm used to doing throughout the week. And um, the principal, I, I ended up calling the superintendent at eight and the principal called me at like 8.30. Not even. So I knew I wasn't getting back to sleep. I had to shower. I had to shower, so I'm just really, really, really tired. So I'm going to have some lunch and probably try to take a nap. Something is wrong with my lungs. Now we just get to go on a journey to figure out what it is. And also, one thing that she did say to me was that the nodule in my lung has grown since 2020. I was told by the doctor that it was stable. She said, no, you have a lymph node that is swollen but stable since 2020. I don't know what the fuck that means, um, but the nodule has grown. Ooh. There is something wrong with my lungs. Like she was listening to them and she was like, eek. So do you have a history of COPD in your family? I don't think it's that. I think I just have asthma, to be honest. I think I just have asthma. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a fucking doctor, but that's just my opinion. I've been trying to nap for hours and it's not going to happen. So I decided to get up and take my birth control and look at my inhaler. It looks exactly the fucking same as it did when I was a kid. Same blue bitch. Same packaging. I can't believe they look exactly the fucking same. That's wild. Um, I didn't really think much of it. But, uh, right as I was leaving, the girl that works at the front desk, like, they told me to go up and talk to her because she had some stuff to give me. And when I was leaving, she gave me a card and a little information sheet about the COPD, med or not medicine, uh, testing that I'm having done. But, and she kind of looked at me like, okay, you're good to go. Right after I got done, like, vlogging from my couch, she called me. The, the secretary called me and she was like, hey, I forgot to give you your spacer for your inhaler. Um, 
we're leaving in like 15 minutes. Cause like, I, I was like, oh, I'm, just, I'm right here. Like I can just drive right back up. And she's like, well, we're leaving in like 15 minutes, but I guess I can stay a little bit later and wait for you. And I was like, it's fine. Um, so I was like, do they sell them at like the pharmacy? I checked the Walmart website. They don't have any at Walmart. And she's like, they might, but if they do, they're probably like not very cheap and ours are free. Would you like me to mail you one? Cause it's Friday. So they're going to be closed all weekend. I was like, sure. I would love to be able to use this. I would love to, I feel like I can use it without a spacer because I did when I was a kid. And uh, the lady that I saw today, um, she told me, she was like, if you get on like this website, it'll have like links to different educational YouTube videos that we endorse if you want to watch. And the back, I, I swear when I was little, I didn't use the spacer. I did when I first started using one and it had like a whistle on it that would like whistle at you if you were breathing in too hard and maybe that's what they were going to give me but if she's mailing me one it's probably not going to be here for like five to seven days uh so i don't really know what to do other than like maybe take a whack at this without the spacer maybe look up a youtube video how to use an inhaler without a spacer it looks, ex this is exactly what my fucking inhaler looks like when I was a kid. Exactly. Same fucking color. Same bluish, bluish gray and dark blue. Same fucking packaging. That's wild. So I'm going to watch a couple YouTube videos, I guess. I kind of remember a little bit from when I was a kid. Like I remember emptying all the air out of my lungs and then taking two puffs and holding it thing. I remember that, but I had a little whistly tube that attached to it that was supposed to teach me how to breathe. Guys, I have not touched an inhaler in probably, how old am I? Almost 35? Like 18 years probably. Priming an inhaler. The most common way to take asthma medicine is with an inhaler. Necessary to use your inhaler without a spacer. Although this is not the recommendation and not the preferred way of delivery, it Well, that's odd. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can I breathe so much better? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <gasps> it's been a couple of hours since I last walked. Oh, wow. I was about to say, I kind of have a headache that I think might turn into a migraine because I feel like I'm really dehydrated because I haven't been drinking a lot of water over the last couple of days. And then I saw my lips. Oh. Bitch, you're absolutely dehydrated. Whenever I had to get my fingers stuck, she was like, they, there's these like three circles and they had to like uh, it into the circle, like trigger warning. And um, she was like, oh, I'm so, you're, I'm so lucky that, and you're so lucky that this is so easy. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's because I fucking chugged a Gatorade Zero last night before bed. I've been doing horrible over the last probably like, three to five days with drinking water and I have a really bad headache because of it. But, and also I haven't been wearing my glasses enough lately because I feel like I can see the glare in the lenses and it's bothering me a lot. And then I'm one of those people that if I don't wear my glasses for extended periods of time, I forget how much better I can see and how much better my head feels when I wear them. So I just slowly slip about it. Oh my God. I forgot that I put my Squid Games cookie jar over there. And I just saw it out of the corner of my eye and the inside is hollow and the lamp above it is on. So it's like lighting up it's in my face, lighting up. It's not in my face, it's over there, but you know what I mean. You know what it reminds me of? You know what it reminds me of? Have, oh God, I, I hate to, I hate to be that person, but there's this Junji Ito 
comic where they are marionettes. That, every time I talk about like things that I'm passionate about, I'm like, please somebody understand what I'm talking about. Um, but also I wanted to say when they, when they stuck my fingy, they said that they were, that they were going to test me for a gene. Um, and I was like, cause she asked me, she was like, does COPD run in your family? And I was like, to be honest with you, I don't know. Um, I texted my mom before the first time I attempted to take a nap and she told me that my grandma, her mom has COPD, but she's a heavy smoker and that my dad's dad had COPD. He passed away when I was like 18. I was 18 years old because I met my ex-husband. I was 18. Um, he passed away from a self-inflicted gunshot wound and, um, he just, he just gave, he just, he just passed all these wonderful genes to me that the type one diabetes, the COPD apparently, but she also was like, you have to keep in mind that he was a coal miner. He was a coal miner and he smoked. So... I, I, I'll re I've got to remember to tell her that and be like, hey, not sure if it's relevant because, you know, my grandma is a smoker and my grandpa was a coal miner and a smoker. So I don't know if it's relevant, but that's what she told me. I have been trying to nap for hours, though. I have been trying to nap for hours. I woke up, I used my inhaler again, and I did like absolutely perfect with it. Like I think I have the hang of it. And I feel like when my when my spacer gets here, I'm gonna be like, damn, um, I'm gonna use it just because like all the videos that I watched on YouTube said that it was best to. And like the the lady that I saw today, the pulmonary doctor told me to use it. Um, so I'm going to do what I'm told, but my God, guys, my God, <gasps> oh my God. I played like a little bit of Sims in between, um, napping, uh, EA is having a sale right now. And a lot of people are like, they're trying to kiss our ass for how badly they broke the game. Probably. Honestly, probably. Okay. So before I take my sim i updated her house because we have money now we are a millionaire now <laughs> it, it happened very fast I, i'm thinking about moving anyways before i get started um ea is having a sale right now and i bundle whenever i buy my games because you save money doing that regardless of if there's a sale going on or not like you get an expansion pack a game pack and a stuff pack for $50. Well, they're having a sale right now. So Epps got me an expansion, a game pack, and a stuff pack for $34. It was $33.96. So there's that. But I wanted to tell you guys before I get into CAS, which is customized, like, like changing hair and clothes and stuff like that. I wanted to tell you guys, I bought her a store and I built her a store. Okay. I should say I bought and built her a store to sell her wine and her crystals. And it's so cute and it's directly beside her house. And you know why I did it? Because my cow plant glitched out. And also I now went from having a micro home to a tiny home. So my plants aren't growing as rapidly as they were. They're still growing fast, but not as fast as they were. So I don't constantly, constantly, constantly have to be there to get them. My fucking cow plant that I was worried about dying glitched out, restarted the game like 12 times. It's not there. So I'm going to guess it's gone forever. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll get a business. I'll get a business. It's right beside my house, literally right beside my house. The cutest fucking thing. I wanted to use it to like sell my crystals and my wine and stuff. It's the cutest fucking thing. It is so cute. Like I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of how cute it turned out. Like it's just this tiny little crystal shop that all I'm selling is literally crystals and wine that I'm making and jewelry and uh, gems that I'm cutting myself. That's just the bathroom over there. That's all that I'm selling in this. Guys, I can't take it. Look how dirty it is from like one day of business. Ugh. I can't take it. 
I can't take it. She worked one shift and look at her. Like people show up and all that they do is like stand there. They don't even buy anything. They just stand there and talk to each other. Regardless of how much you talk to them, they don't talk to each other. I hired an employee. The employee doesn't do anything at all. I'm, I, I think I'm going to sell my little crystal shop. It's so cute. Like, don't get me wrong. It's so cute. But you literally waste the entire day doing nothing. Like, the shop ends up so crowded. And nobody buys anything. Nobody does anything. They all just stand there and talk to each other. And then you have to, like, repeatedly click on the different customers to, like, see if they need anything, answer their questions, stuff like that. And she just, en she just ends up bored as fuck. She just ends up bored as fuck and wastes the entire day. She only made a little over a thousand simoleons. Like, that's, like, it was so fun to build it. It was a great idea. Like, look how fucking cute it is. It was so, like, I did, like, a little gallery wall over here. Like, it was so fun to build it. But, like, I can't, I can't do it. Like, it's so boring. And I've seen so many Sims creators say it's, like, their favorite thing. It's so fucking boring and i'm trying to figure out how to sell it because i can't do it i cannot do it and you can hire employees that will show up and run the shop when you're not there but they don't do shit they don't do anything they stand around and talk to each other they look at their phone they go to the bathroom they don't do anything i'm kind of heartbroken about it i'm a little bit heartbroken about it oh my gosh oh my god i had to change my labrae because the bar in the one that I was using was entirely too long and I kept biting it when I was eating and I was like if I keep doing this I'm gonna have to fucking take this thing out because it was grossing me out so bad and I was like me chipping a tooth from just chewing my food and not thinking about it and biting down on this really hard it, it's a time bomb so I I the bar in it was like entire it was like entirely too long so I put the smallest bar I have in, and it's it's giving Christina Aguilera in her dirty era. <laughs> I feel like maybe it'll grow on me, or I'll just stop giving a shit. Just kidding. I didn't put the old one in. I found my little baggie of ones that I bought a long time ago. Um, busted out the nylon gloves and sat here for 15 minutes chasing the bar around with a tiny little hole in the back of the ball. It was so fun. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go because it is 12.30 and Epps and I are going to get ready for bed because he has to work really early in the morning. I'm not going to flip you off because my nails are gross, but boy.